It is the start of the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series season and it's media day. We're going through the pre-tournament checks, but it's the only time of year all the anglers will be in one spot. So we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the guys here and try to find out of all these Elite Series anglers, who has got the most tricked out bass boat electronics setup, the most expensive bass boat electronics setup in spring of 2020. Four. So without further ado, let's hop in some of these guys' boats and see their electronic setups. We had to stop this man right here, Brian New. Dude's an absolute hammer. Brian, can you just run us uh, through your electronic setup? I it's mean, just ridiculous. Isn't it ridiculous it's nowadays? A joke. But we have to, right? We have to. Unfortunately. Yeah. So I got a Helix 12. Yep. Lorance 12. Lorance 12. I got a Helix 10 for mapping. Yep. All week I've had a Garmin 10 back there. Okay. For Whatever, live scope. Okay, do you have your, do you have a live no, transducer? No, I got a pole. So Geiger okay. Tech makes nice. a pole that mounts right here. Yep. And uh, you know, I don't have the dual on the back. Cause a lot of these guys ha just have it here, but yep. you could literally sweep past the yep. target and it's gone. You could kind of, if you're idling past it, you could kind of yep. keep yep. it pointed, keep it pointed, yep. keep it pointed and move it. That's yep. legit. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. You know, I, I wish uh, we could start fishing again. Yeah, but no. Okay, and then what's this giant playing field right here? What do we got right so, here, dude? 12 Garmin for forward, half ounce jig. Yes, perfect, uh, perfect. And then uh, 360. Yeah. So it's it's a lot going on, but you, wow. know, you feel like you have to now. Yeah. It's not that I want to, I just feel like I have to. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Yeah. So four 12 inch units at the bow, two 12s and a 10 at the console, two live transducers on his power pole move, plus Humminbird Mega 360. Do you have any idea what all this stuff costs? A lot. Like like over 20K? Oh, for sure, yeah. It's gotta be, no right? Doubt. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You look probably five right there. Yep. Three, six, so you're at 12-ish. Uh, plus five, another, yeah. Two. Three. It, yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's not fishing anymore. Buddy. All to catch some bass, dude. Yeah, but hopefully, again, we got to do it to compete. Yeah. So I, I will say though, a lot of people say that live scope is just easy. It's spotlighting this, dude. It's not easy. No. I never claim to say that no. it's easy. It's, Wait, the it's cameraman's as shaking as... his head because he's yeah. seen me work on a few. You know, yeah. it's a, yeah. not all of them bite. No, no. But it's not fishing. Yeah. Good job, Brian. Thanks, Thank bud. you, bro. All right, we caught up with Corey Johnson here. This dude has been on the live scope game for what, like five years? Dude, like he had the original pan optics and all that stuff. Yeah, it's been a while. So right now we get running um, a 12 inch up front yep, here. Yeah. And so uh, I got two tens. Two tens, yeah. Three displays up front, two transducers, both forward facing like this, not not in perspective, but both vertical. Yep. We got three 12s here yep. at the console. Yeah. Um, all Garmin's. And nice. then I got uh, two transducers. Wow on the jack plate here like more this. transducers and more bass are going to catch absolutely or yeah. like c and that leads to you know wow. better decisions more tournament or whatever yeah. all right a couple questions uh do you have your garmin's at the console set on kilometers per hour or miles per hour always miles an hour okay miles per hour this guy's a canadian uh and then the other thing cost in U.S. dollars, not Canadian dollars. Uh, man, honestly, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I, yeah. I, I don't know the answer you to that question. You just sign the paperwork but, uh, and run it. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, to set it up like this, it's stupid. It's got to be at least 20 grand, oh, right? Oh, it's more at than least. 20 grand. Yeah. It's almost the price of a new hull. Yeah. Wow. Hey, thanks, dude. Thanks, bud. Good luck this week. Logan Parks, dude, this guy is a Elite Series rookie. He's been doing a while. He's always in that upper kind of echelon of tournament finishes, and you made it to the Elite Series. Can you give us a quick rundown of your electronics? With the nine of you guys that just qualified, I think all nine of you guys are scopers, right? I call you guys scopers. <laughs> are you a scoper? I like to scope. You like I it? I can catch them however I, we got to. I like to hear that. What do you got going on over here? I've got the Apex 13s. I got three of them. Three 13s. I got the Apex 16 for my 360. Just nice. Just expand that. Yep. I do have the, you know, the four, four facing. facing. regular, yep, sure. Got the 360, the new Ultrax Quest. I have a uh, Humminbird Live in the back on a custom transducer shield saver mount. Nice. So it's actually a that, spring dude. back bracket. So if That's I wasn't new. anything, I can roll right How about over. about that, yeah. dude? So nice. that's pretty cool. Got these too. And these dude, things Caleb are insane. at Sea Light, dude. Caleb is an absolute man. But in 2025, I guarantee you, everyone will have the Sea Light Sea Do you have any idea how much this stuff costs, electronics-wise? Probably somewhere in forty, fifty thousand dollar range. I think you're about right on. Yeah, Logan Parks, dude. Good luck this yeah, year. Thank you. All in on this electronic game. <laughs> All in. Oh, dude. One, two, three, four five six seven 12 in 10 to 12 inch units two live scope transducers up front 
two transducers in the back. That is amazing. So four transducers and seven displays. All in, baby, it's what we gotta do. That might take the cake, man. We're, we found you a little bit early. We're gonna go through the rest of the people it's here. It's not, there's more. Okay, there's I can't more. wait, can't wait to see it. But that is pretty amazing. A short guy like myself, I don't know how you'd see over this thing. Once again, I'm from where you don't even need this. I am fishing the Elite Series because I used to fish grass this deep, but it's, it's what we're against right now. It's what we gotta do, yep. and I'm all in on it. All right, one more question. What do you think all this stuff costs? I think retail, we're at like 50 grand. Is that all? You know, uh, at retail pricing. <laughs> Good job, dude. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Yep. All right, caught up with KJ Queen, awesome angler. Was it your third year on the Elite Series? Fourth season? year. Fourth year, yep. right on. First question, what's the back of your van look like? <laughs> you want to see from there? Can we see? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> this is the setup right here, boys. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is sick. I love this, got dude. Forget your electronics. Let's see the van. Got the, got the food, you know, got the oh, food boxes. Oh, yeah. Like, got the whole nine yards. Absolutely, in there, dude. dude. Go to rig some rods. I don't have to worry about it. Got plenty of space. Rig them on up. You know, Get all through, like, the late 80s and, like, early 90s, like, every professional bass fisherman toured in a van dude this is awesome dude that's i love awesome. it like I fits your whole <laughs> it fits like your whole thing dude i that's love so it cool. all right let's get your electronics real quick the new garmin i think it's the u2s the u2s yep yep, yep. U2s. So, two 212 inch garmins a 12 inch hummingbird two live transducers correct oh wow this is a big one what's what is this that's, that's a 62 different. okay so that's a 62 seas further and built for salt water i salt believe water, right yep so you can see fish and your bait at the longest cast possible. Correct. Okay, very cool. Another U2, 12, okay. and then another uh, so 8 pack 13. 24 inches of screen at the console. Any live transducers in the back? Got one at the back. Okay. Yep, just one side. 2,600? 26,000. 26,000? Yeah. Wow. Expensive. Just the displays alone. Just the graphs and the uh, transducers and the black boxes okay. and everything that goes Wow, through. okay. Yep. So, so the, whole, the whole nine yards was 26. For 26 grand, you can come out here and catch a bass. How about that? <laughs> KJ Queen, thanks for showing your yes, van sir. off and your electronics. Appreciate you, dude. Good luck this season. Hey, you too, man. All right, Mr. Bill Lowen, he is probably the best shallow water fisherman on tour. I know Bill is one of those anglers that likes to keep it simple. He's very, very effective at fishing shallow water. Not necessarily seeing them on live transducers, but the guy catches them. Bill, can you just run us down real quick on your electronic setup? You know, as you can see, I'm running uh, three Apex 13s nice. this year. Obviously, I got a 360 and I got a live. Yep. Um, you know, I heard you say that, yeah, I'm not live scoping and yeah. all that, but yeah. you know, I use that transducer a lot to help me find isolated pieces of cover, edges. brush piles, things like that, grass edges and things like that. Yep. So even though I'm not out there scoping, um, I'm still using it. 360 still plays in this Absolutely. day and age. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, for, for an angler like me, yeah. uh, they have 360 running all the time to be yep. able to see an isolated piece of cover that maybe I'd have never seen. If it gives you one more fish throughout the day, then it's well worth it. It all adds up yep. with AOI and everything. That's right. Very cool. All right, nice and simple for Bill Lowen. Next up, we got Alex Weatherall here. Where are you from, dude? Connecticut. This is your second year on second tour? Second year now, yep. Cool. So starting at the front, uh, we got three units. Yep. I'm doing uh, live with one. Yep. I'm doing 360 isolated with the second one. Okay. And then I'm doing GPS and 2D on the third ah, one. Ah, okay. So one live transducer. Um, those are 10 inch screens. Yep, all, you, all tens. I, do I, you feel like less of a man running 10 inch screens? No, I okay, don't, good, I don't. I don't. I struggled with it, yes. but, but we're good now. I overcame yes. it, went yep. to therapy. Yep. I'm, I'm in a good I place now. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I kind of like a lower profile, smaller, compact Smart, setup. Dude. Just it's lighter, it's right? Lighter. Through the wind. You don't have all that wind you yep. know, barrier, so yep. Yep. I'm happy Very with cool. It. Back here at the console, I've got a Apex 16 single yep. unit. Big boy. So uh, you're compensating the 310s. Versus exactly. The exactly. Okay. I got to have a big something. Yeah. Um, I love it. But you know, it's nice having one unit. I like it with the with the Apex. You can easily swap from multiple screens to a single screen with okay. two fingers. Okay. So I don't feel like I need to have multiple screens to you know change. Interesting. Out. Okay. Cool. Any live transducers in the back? No live in the back. Good for you, Nothing dude. In the back. I love it. Alex, keeping it simple, keeping it clean. Good luck this cool. year, dude. Thanks. Caught up with Kyle Patrick here. He's one of the nine Elite Series rookies. All the kids, they're all young guys. I consider them all scopers. They may not be. Are you a scoper? Would you when I have it? to be. When you have to be, right? I've got to. I grew up shallow fishing, yeah. though, and that's Good what I truly you. love. Good for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to get here, you have to be good at everything. You have to. And Absolutely. I think everyone is, to be honest. Quick rundown of your electronics. I see yeah. you've got two 13-inch Apexes, 
8612. Uh, uh huh. Salt water unit. And so then three units. 16 inch forward facing unit, as well as a Apex 13. One live transducer and one 360. No live transducers in nope. the back. I love I it. I keep it as simple, man. I love it. I do think the brakes are legit. Yep. And I wish I had them. Yep. As far as the back ones, man, I'm just going to graph around and Good for you. put the trolling motor down. Any idea how much these electronics cost? Just the screens. And the, I would say, 30 grand. It's a good guess, dude. That's you're about right on. Kyle, yeah. good luck hey. this year, bro. Nice meeting you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Jay Shakurit. This guy has won an Elite Series tournament up there on Lake Ontario, doing the whole live scope thing. Do you consider yourself a scoper? Not where I come from. Really? No. I in really Wisconsin? Don't, well, they no. probably call it something else in Wisconsin. I grew up on a river. So oh, okay. So you not have live scope yep, until. But you're pretty damn good at it because I've seen this guy in action yeah. <laughs> uh, up there on Lake Champlain just smoking them left and right. I guess we'll start with something new. Yep. Um, I put one on the back this year. I yep. put a live scope on the back of the yep. boat. I'm trying it out. Then the one live scope I will run on one graph. Yep. Specifically, I'm just if I'm just looking for bait or you know just yeah. you know fish in general. Maybe something, small mouth. Something to convince you to put the troll exactly. motor in the water. Exactly. And then once you get right. up to the front here, 12, a 10, and a 16. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So That's nice. A 10 just for mapping. Yep. So I'm running two transducers, one in yep. perspective mode. I see that. And then the 16 inch I'm running for forward. Forward, so, so this is all the work right here. Right. Jay's Nitro Z21 XL, I run the same exact boat. We love this boat, yeah. right? It's huge, handles big water, handles all these graphs, all this weight up front. Any idea of how much these electronics cost? Oh man. Take That's a guess. <laughs> If I had to put a number on it, it's probably somewhere around 15 to 18 grand. Yeah, I think you're a little low, but probably. yeah, it's, it's getting out of control. <laughs> that, that's maybe for a little bit of a discount. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And by the way, yeah, at Bass Pro Shops right now, they've got this the spring electronics right. thing going on right now. A lot of deals going on electronic. So if you're looking to upgrade, make sure you check out Bass Pro Shops because they've got all this stuff you're seeing in this video for a great price. Jay, awesome job. Thank Good you. luck this year, brother. Appreciate it. You as well. All right, looking forward to this one too, because Scott Martin, you just won Lake Okeechobee, your home lake, and you had, you know, your garments in perspective mode and you were bed fishing with live scope. And that's something he's been keeping hush, hush, suppose I don't it. know what he's talking about. <laughs> exactly. But if you're going to expose it, you might as well do it with a win, right? Oh, this is, this is secret stuff. So I've got, uh, I've got a uh, spot here. Yeah. So I've got, um, <laughs> yeah. Got my beat down pole mount, yep. which is Money. crazy good. Money. So, I mean, like, honestly, this is the coolest thing ever. Lift this up. Rise it up. Boom, lock, lock it in. Lock it in. And they can move in different positions. I literally just bring it down. Boom. But like, I can ride around like that, no problem. And I can fish with it so at legit. that level. That's not in the way. So that's a Garmin 16 here. Yeah. It looks like an 8616. Yeah. Saltwater transducer. You yeah. can see further. The regular transducer. He's got them facing opposite ways, but we're not gonna give that secret away quite no, yet. No, it's just because I want that one out of the way. Yeah, okay, sounds yeah. good. And then two 12-inch Garmin's right there yeah. for mapping and such. And then here at the console, two 12-inch Garmin's yeah. also on the beat downs, as well as an iPad, so throw that in there. Yeah. And then any live transducers in the back? No. No live transducers in the back? Don't need it. No. Don't need it. I only need two on the front right now. Yeah. So, you know, it's, um, you're looking at, you're looking at, you're looking at uh, 20, Thirty thousand. Yep. Yeah, I would say that's right on. Yeah, thirty thousand. Absolutely. So absolutely necessary to run this. Well, I would say you could probably get by with two, maybe. Yeah, right. Right. And yeah. Compete. I here saw today. somebody with four graphs on the front. Yes. Brian News got four up front, and Brian Schmidt's got four in the rear. Four in the rear. I don't know what we're doing in twenty twenty four, bro. He's got one yeah. for the left, one for the I right. I guess, dude. I don't know. What are we doing? Twenty twenty four bass fishing. At least you got a win under your belt already. Scott Martin, I appreciate your time, brother. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we caught up with Cody Huff here. He also runs a Nitro Z21 XL. And every time we have a tournament, whether it's a, a spawning tournament or a shallow water tournament, you're still out there scoping yeah. and smashing big ones. This year, like I've got a, I've got a pretty interesting setup. I changed things up. I swapped with a company called Beatdown. Okay. Uh, and they make some mounts that are that are pretty interesting. If, yep. you, if you're gonna scope, if you're not gonna scope. Right. I love that. You're still looking shot, down, right? but you're not looking as far yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Like how many times are we out there scoping away? I mean, 13 hours on, 14 hours on the water, and you're just like, oh, dude, my neck hurts. But, so one, two, three, 12 inch Garmin's, yep. and I see two, uh, two live scope transducers up front. Yep. So I got two live scope trans transducers. One's on a right height turret. Okay. Um, in perspective. I, I like to keep it in perspective yeah. all the time. Sometimes I'll put them both in forward, you yep. know, like if the wind's blowing and you know you want a spot lock or sure. whatever. Yep. Most of the fish you're going to catch this year yeah. are going to be seen with that 
fat guy right there. Yeah. He's probably going to catch the heck out of him this week. I hope so. Great big ones. Okay, so that's the front. What do we got in the console here? We're just going to yep. Echo Map Ultras. But these are on beatdowns too. Very cool. So, so you can slide those any which can, way. You can slide them. You can tilt them. 312s in the back. Any live transducers in the rear? Uh, not right now. I might put one on later. But... Okay. But uh, you got Rick Clun on this whole live scoping thing. And that yeah. <laughs> that is something to say, man. That is really, really cool. Cody, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Good luck this year. Yeah. I know you're going to smash them this week. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. All right, I'm really looking forward to this one because the Japanese anglers, they bring a lot of technology, they bring a lot of new techniques to the United States. A lot of times, they're not willing to talk about them. But Taku Ito, yeah. can you please show us your electronic setup yeah. for 2024? I gotcha, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Oh, huge. Oh my God. Yes, yeah. These are, I've never seen these. Uh, yeah, this one is a proper Japan? strong. Yeah, Japan. yeah, yeah. Yep. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, it's very strong. If it's not hit the thumb. Oh, oh that's worry. rock solid. Yeah. Two transducers here, one yeah. perspective, yeah. salt water, one regular, two 16 inch garments. Yeah, crazy. One 12 inch hummingbird Solix. Yeah. I like that. And what do we got at the console here? A 12 inches Garmin. 12 Garmin, yeah. 12 Hummingbird, and 12 yeah. Hummingbird. Yes, yes, So yes. 30, 12, 12, 36 inches? 36, 36, yeah. 36 inches at the console. Yeah. Any live uh, transducers in the yeah. back? Yeah, I, I put on the 232 from the live scope. Okay, so back. when you're idling, you can see left yeah. and right. Yes, yeah. Very yeah. good, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Taku is one of those guys I consider probably one of the best live scopers in the game. So Taku, thank you for showing us your electronics setup. Yeah, Any idea mm -hmm. on how much yeah. electronics cost altogether? Uh, 30,000. About 30,000. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm poor now. Every, uh, pay, 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 pay. Pay professional. Taku, <laughs> thank you so much yes. for your time. You're Good welcome. luck this You're welcome. year. Appreciate yep. you, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, my little buddy, JT Tompkins, works really tight with this rookie here. <laughs> Um, Mr. Tyler Williams, you're from Maine. Yeah. Uh, I got a question. Are you, do you consider yourself a scoper? Uh, to a point, I'm yeah. a big structure fisher. Absolutely. So Very cool. I'd use my 360, I'd use my scope, whatever Heck I got. Yeah. I'd be marking dots if Very I Very cool. <laughs> this guy absolutely crushes him. He won an open last year. He qualified for the classic. He is here on the Elite Series. He's one of nine rookies who I consider scopers. It's yeah. gonna look like I'm a scoper. Yeah, you are a scoper. <laughs> funny, no one wants to admit it, but you are a scoper. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, what do we got going here? This is what this is elaborate. We here. got the yeah, so we got the LVS 62, the saltwater transducer. Okay, see further. You yeah, see a lot further. It's been helping a lot this week. Okay, good for you. Perspective live scope with 34, and then just regular forward. Yeah, regular 34. Some of this forward. too is like safety control. I break this yep. off, then I can flip one around. Good, like, that's stuff smart. Like that. I see an NBT up here. This is the first we've seen this today. That's a 22 inch screen. Uh, that's a 16. That's a 16 inch yeah. NBT graph. Yep. I see a 16 inch garment or two 16. Yeah. So three 16s, dude. All the screens. That is amazing. <laughs> So usually I run four. I only got three on for the tournament. So normally he runs four. <laughs> yeah, so I usually keep a little Lorance on the corner. Just if I lose all my SD cards, I have all my waypoints yep. on it. I got satellite on it, just things like that. Very cool. Then uh, 16, so that 16 powers two live scopes in the back. Okay. I got two saltwater transducers. Wow. The big ones in the wow. back. 12 here, yeah. a Solix 12 here, yep. and then two live transducers in the back. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna compete with you kids these days, man. All this to throw a jig at a brush pile the whole <laughs> time. <laughs> Any idea on how much all this stuff costs? 40 grand. 40 G, he thought grand. about it, like he was the quickest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like he thought about it before, <laughs> like dude, 40 well, grand. I had to buy it. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend or a wife no. that, uh, yeah. The bass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Dude. I live yeah. in a box, I travel with my camper and then just fish. Good for for you, <laughs> dude. It's Kim and JT, out of all the rookies, look for them to do really well. Good job, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Jordan Lee, Jordan Lee, it's good to have you back on yeah, the Elite man. Series, good bro. We yeah. missed you. This week on Toledo Bend, like, I, I didn't see very many guys, but I've seen this dude, like, every Everywhere. single day. <laughs> and we're like, how's it going? Well, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. I caught good. a couple here and there. Uh, anyway, so in this stage of live scoping, you've won multiple tournaments without live scoping, yeah. or forward facing, active target, whatever. Up front, just pretty standard. Yep. Uh, single got one single yep. active target two. Two 12 inch Lorance, uh, like super simple. I'm trying to not overthink it, yeah. but at the same time, I'm trying to adapt and yeah. use it a lot just like everybody is. Sure. 
Um, you're not a young guy anymore. I mean, you're young. No, I'm but, like, not. These kids, dude, these nine that qualified, they're all scopers. All of them. Every single and, one. Of them. And, and, talk, and talking to them, you know, I, I met these kids when, yeah. you know, they're like 14 and uh -huh. it makes you feel old. I know. Does. It does. But dude. no perspective or nothing. I just got one. Yep. I did put two back here, but yep. I bent the crap out of them. Oh, here out here. Week, yeah. um, two 12s up front, two 12s at the console. Yeah. And then we got live transducers. That, that are back. hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> so that tells you how confident I am. I'm not nice. even. I didn't even use them this week. So that is awesome, bro. You know, I got the one right now. That's all I'm trying to dial Very in. Cool, dude. This Ranger is super clean, super legit. Any idea on how much the electronics cost as a package? <sighs> Around 25, 2800 a piece of the four. I mean, I would say a little over in the active target. I'd probably say 12,000, 10 to 12. I think that's a little low. Do you I think, think, yeah. 12? He, get, he gets the, the classic champion discount, let's say. With uh, those, yeah. probably 15. Yeah. Say 15. I think it's still higher than that. But Jordan, good job, bro. Yeah. Looking forward to fishing against you from here and beyond. Thank yeah, you man. so much, dude. Yep. Good luck this week. <laughs> Mr. Patrick Walters, I've seen him working hard here this week. There's a lot of people kind of getting carried away with the grass. Too this much. This is too much. Is there ever too much? Yeah, there, there can be. Yeah. I think there's as much as you can handle, yeah, to be honest. Right. Um, this is the most I've ever run. Okay. Um, what is, I'm running a Garmin 8616 okay. for just live scope just forward facing sonar awesome. that's all it does it just shoots forward helix 12 hummingbird okay and that's for 360, 360. in lake masters map yeah. lawrence is for mapping 2d and, and now scout the mode. scout mode yeah, perfect that's it. i like that and i did that map because lawrence has got that low pro map yep. that way it's not in the Less way drag and i almost went with two garments yep. to have their perspective here yep. but then i'd have to get rid of the the hummingbird and i don't want to get rid of th nope. 360. Don't 360 just works so good up north what do we got here at the uh, transom here very simple two yeah. side scan transducers. perfect if i'm going to use live i'm going to put my trolling motor down and i'm going to look at it i know your boy trend over at sonar pros hooked you up this year dude so thank you so much for taking us through your electronic setup yep. last question any idea on how much this whole electronics package costs uh it's a good bit i'm going to say probably 30 grand 30 g's that's, yep, that's the number 30 grand is the number 2024 how about that that is yep. insane i'll take 30 a day i'll take it 30 <laughs> all right dude thank you so much Thanks, appreciate Chris. it patrick absolutely all right i had to get one of the old school guys in the mix here 34 years on the pro circuit mr mark menendez he's got several wins over the years well if you can't beat him and join you absolutely them. got to right so we got active targets all the way around. Okay. Forward facing here, perspective here. One vertical, one horizontal. Two 12s up here. Two 12s up giant there. mount, love it. Straight up mount, two 12s on the dash. Yep. And then one of those, I have a transducer on the back for side MG on the, or okay. forward facing on, on the transit. Okay. So how many, so we're here at Toledo Bend, of course, three days of practice. How many fish did you catch on uh, four faces? So not a one. Zero. I love it, dude. Picked up a flipping stick and went Yes. Through. Yes. I love it. You're probably going to see him in the top 10 because <laughs> the weather's getting nice. This is awesome. And in this day and age with these nine rookies of all live scopers, we just got to keep up, man. I'm on year number 13 myself. We got to keep up with these kids, Mark. It is. They're very talented. Yes. They're very talented yeah. fishermen. And the thing about forward facing, when we got GPS, it robbed from us. It yes. robbed our ability to triangulate. Yep. So new skills are going to evolve yep. with forward facing yep. and old skills will either have to keep up or get out of the way. That's absolutely right. All right, last question here real quick, costs. Um, I'm guessing it's somewhere retail about 25,000. I think you're right on. A lot of them are 30,000, 25. We had one guy at $50,000, Mark. Ridiculous. Isn't it? Bring back a little red light that goes round and round and round and let's see how these kids I'm with it. you, brother. Mark, thank you so much. Yes, sir. How about Mr. Koya Fujita here? What in the world is going on on the front of your deck here? Can you show me your electronic setup? What do yes. we have here? Two live scope transducers? Yeah. Two forward and vertical? Yeah. What is this right here? Uh, NBT Mountain 22. NBT 22, yeah. 22 inch screen. Yes. And yeah. then what else here? 16? Yes. And 12? Yes. Oh my, quick math, 22, 16, 12. How many inches is that? Uh, How many inches? Total. Total. Lots. A lot. <laughs> that's oh, a sorry. big screen. Very big <laughs> screen. Okay, that's amazing. Two live transducers up front. One's a saltwater, one's a freshwater, both vertical. 22, 16, 12. And at the console, what do we have here? Yeah. That's a lot going on as well. I see a 16 inch. Yes. It's an 86, 16 Garmin. I see an 86, 12 Garmin. Yeah. And I see a Humminbird Helix 12. Yes. Wow. So mapping, side imaging, yeah. and 
Live transducer? Do you have live transducer in the back? Uh, yeah. Two, two okay, let's two. see. He's got eight. Yeah. <laughs> is it, does this make you uncomfortable showing me? Is it okay yes. if I look? Yes. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Or is this uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay, it's uncomfortable. Live transducer to the right here. So when you're idling along, it sweeps, you see fish, yes. and you stop, put the trolling motor in the water. Yes. Very good. Two LVS 34s in the rear and two, one's an LVS and the other one's a saltwater unit up front. So four live transducers, I don't know, 100 inches of screen. Um, how much uh, US dollars all electronics cost together? How much do you think? How much? Uh, 40,000 maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Probably about 40,000. Yeah, very good. All right, Koya Fujita, one of the best live scopers in the game. He's excellent at finesse fishing, but he could also wind a crankbait pretty well. So, Koya, good luck this year. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. Thank very so much. much. Good luck. And one of the old guys, he's been doing it 30 plus years now. Mike Iconelli, awesome guy. Hey, look, 2024, year of electronics, right? Yeah. I mean, like just three years ago, there were only a dozen guys yeah. doing this whole live scope active target thing. What do we got up here? Well, let me tell you this, old guys learn new tricks. Absolutely. You have to. Yeah. So here's the interesting thing. Everything I've learned about this, I learned from my son, Vegas. Yeah, that's and awesome. And he's 13. That I'm not kidding so you. so cool. Just put it in perspective, yeah. I'm not an electronics guy. Yeah. Learn to fish by feel. Yeah. I had to gravitate toward it and learn it because yep. if not, you get, get left behind. You will get smoked without yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, my system's probably the most basic that you'll see from anybody. Two live scope transducers, okay. two yep. active target active transducers. Target. I see one is in scout mode here one's in scout Grass mode lines. perspective yep. yep shallow water it's awesome, awesome. it's amazing yep. and then regular one okay i see what is this guy right here so a this little is stick yeah a little stick so yeah. on some of the troll motors the arrow can be a little off Paw. so um this is just a little deal that when you put it down uh -huh. you know gives you another kind of line of sight right to make sure your cast is perfect right so, it's like your iron sights on a rifle right here right it stays parallel absolutely parallel with his active target transducer here so he knows exactly when he's when you know when he's scanning along you know and he sees one you know 45 degrees off to the right whatever yep. it is and then you just look down orange boom bam make that cast yeah. and then you see your bait falling when i first started and i, I stunk at it yeah i couldn't land on them no. uh, my son could land on them every time, every time so i had to get good at that and using this helps me because you know that field of view is Tiny. like that yeah it's not like that no. it's like that yep. so if you're off by six uh, seven inches that left or right you're off you're, of the cast you're jacked so that okay. does help 212 hds pros, HDS pros. Yep. Uh, top one is yep. is my uh, forward facing bottom one is perspective or traditional okay. 2d which yep. i still love absolutely and then i added a nine because i'm a big believer in mapping mapping and and i always want to have mapping in my boat <laughs> oh yeah you're what are those, what right are those things and if you're under 50 years old, you might have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, this goes back way in time, yeah. back to the history of <laughs> bass fishing, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. And these are called marker buoys. <laughs> Go on eBay, you can probably find some. But That's you know, awesome, I, dude. Even with the great GPS of today, yep. I still, an old school, I still use marker buoys. Yep. You know, there's a line or a cast, and you know, you, yep. you know, I don't have to tell you. Yep. But a lot of times there's a perfect cast. And even with the best GPS in the world, a marker buoy helps you identify that line. Yep. And I, Chris, I can't tell you how many tournaments to this day yep. that I've done well because of the marker buoy. That's right. Not the GPS. That is awesome, dude. That is so awesome. And I'm just thinking about, you know, <laughs> the ESPN days. I'm sitting there high school where we're watching this guy, you know, reel up one of these oh, ancient yeah. market buoys and then run to the next spot. And oh, then yeah. you catch a fish, you're like this, and then you grab one of these, yeah. just like toss grab it, grab it, yeah. kick it over. That's so awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. At the console, I see two 12 inch, um, yep. some pros here as well. Yep. Two 12s and so my basic rule of thumb is my left one I'm using for side imaging, down imaging. I do a split screen nice. um, right across the middle and my right one I'm using for mapping in 2D. Again, okay. I'm not a hater of 2D. I'm still a big believer in 2D and I can see things on 2D that I can't Absolutely. on the other technology. Very so. cool. Okay, and then any live transducers in the rear or no? Just no live transducers in the rear. Good. No, not Good. there yet. Baby steps, yeah. one step at a time. That's awesome. All right, last question, Mike. Any idea how much this electronics package costs? 
I don't have a big clue, but I, I, I mean, if I were to do quick math, I know the units, the 12s are about three grand each. Yep. So yeah, you're approaching, so. you're approaching 20 grand or so. It's probably around that number, so, give or take. Yeah. I think the, the winner here this week, Brian Schmidt, four Garmin's at the console, three up front. Yeah. Estimated value, $50,000 of electronics. 50 grand, yeah, and hey, put this into perspective. When I started this quest 30 plus years ago, my original boat was a Coleman Crawdad, which is a plastic John boat. I had a Minn Kota trolling motor on the back. I think that boat was $500 new back then. <laughs> that so is so awesome. That's where I came from. Well, Mike, good luck this year. Good luck to Vegas, the hammer, Thanks, and his Chris. endeavors. Absolutely. Appreciate good that. luck this year, dude. Okay. Hey, we talked to a bunch of the Elite Series pros out there. We got done checking in and all that stuff. And I got to ask myself, like, where are we at? in the sport of bass fishing 2024, you know, $50,000 setups. It seemed like the average was like 30K. I mean, that's like a part-time job salary. So if you wanna become a bass fisherman, professional bass fisherman on tour like this, all that equipment isn't necessarily, you know, necessary, but it does help to compete with these guys. So you decide. And finally, Randy Blockett, have fun with this one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We learned a lot. And boy, those boys have got some pretty trick setups.